as such applied psychology is not a separate branch or field of psychology rather it is an umbrella term which encompasses every principle or regulation or law which has been applied in real life so we are going to discuss what are that context where the psychological principles and the laws which has been developed in laboratories and experimentation has been applied in the field of real life so that the modification of human behavior can be achieved for the betterment the purpose of this video is to make it the meaning very clear rather we thread bear discuss the meaning of applied so let us start what does applied psychology means dear friends in simple terms application of psychological principles and laws in daily life this one sentence or one statements clearly defines what applied psychology is henry elliot he defined it is a branch of psychology which seeks to apply to practical problems and practical life the methods and results of pure and especially experimental psychology so he has focused on two things practical problems and practical life these are the two issues that has to be addressed and applied psychology address these two issues this means the experiments which have been conducted in the laboratory as well as outside and the outcome of these experiments they are called pure that comes under the pure psychology when these outcomes are applied in the practical life that become applied psychology there is not a major difference issue is when pure outcomes coming from the pure psychology are applied in the real life that is applied psychology it is centered on the principle of psychology you call the pure psychology and studies them for practical applications in daily behavior it studies abstract principles and laboratory based experiments of pure psychology from the perspective of real world results take the example of operant conditioning as given by professor b f skinner or classical conditioning or other principles which have been developed in laboratories when these principles outcomes of these theories applied in real life that is applied psychology this science means applied psychology attempts to confirm the principle of psychology to achieve concrete results the one important aspect of this field is it confirms whether the results which have been received through experimentation in the laboratories can be applied in real life that is the basis of applied psychology for example you take the reinforcement in operant conditioning when if some student achieve better performance achieve better results and have a good etiquettes conforms to the required standards if a teacher is expected to pat the back in that sense the child is expected to engage in the same behavior more often that is positive reinforcement when that application provides results that is the confirmation of the principles of pure psychology so applied psychology and pure psychology are basically two parts will both separate parts whereas basic or pure psychology seeks deeper and subtle knowledge to expand the knowledge base and experimentation while applied psychology focuses on the application of acquired knowledge in the real life pure psychology works to find out to discover to invent new knowledge new knowledge base so that the knowledge base can be expanded new principles and when these principles and theories come out 
applied psychology try to confirm through application in real life what is the objective of applied psychology dear friends applied psychology is related to the practical side of human being where practical problems real life are explored and studied this is the thing we have to focus upon real life or practical side how a human behave in a settings different different settings and what type of problems or challenges that individual faces so applied psychology tries to address these problems along with this it helps in making a desirable modification or changes in human behavior when an individual is seems to be a diverting from a concept of normality in that case the principles of psychology theories of psychology comes handy through that that modification can be achieved successfully and easily and dear friends it also plays an important role in solving problems related to day to day behavior life as such is a basket of numerous challenges at every step life offers new challenge and to deal with these challenges we have two aspects technology helps us with dealing with outside challenges challenges which are outside the human behavior or human mind that is external challenges whereas psychology tries to address the internal challenges an individual faces every time we face whether to take this step or not we face decision related dilemmas to to address these the objectives the laws and the principles which are devised by the pure psychology comes in handy dear friends it is very important applied psychology addresses the internal issues or internal challenges offered by the life so it is to describe to predict and control the various activities of person this is the purpose of applied psychology as a result the person can intelligently and successfully understand his life fully or her life fully and interact with immediate surroundings and these surroundings can be of different nature that can be a psychological nature social nature or nature can be natural for the applied psychology helps an individual to adjust to the environment so that they may attain the maximum productivity economically and self satisfaction these are two parts productivity is related to your behavior self satisfaction is to internal behavior so applied psychology addresses both these parts that is external as well as internal behavior in fact applied psychology is the study of outcomes of other fields of psychology dear friends when pure psychology develops some principles some theories some laws no doubt that are developed in accordance with the scientific steps scientific applications and objectivity but what applied psychology does is it in terms of testing it you call it as their attest applied psychology attest the outcomes of pure psychology whether the outcomes which has been come through laboratory or manipulated experiments or controlled experiments are relevant in real life so to confirm this to attest this applied psychology an important field so very important point is applied psychology test and attest and confirms the outcomes of pure psychology dear friends it was the meaning of applied psychology i think you have you i have cleared the meaning of applied psychology the next lecture will be going to discuss history of applied psychology how and from where we started and where we have reached and in this process how what we have achieved those dear friends thanks for watching this video we'll meet you soon if you have
any doubt any suggestion or any critical comments you can email me on my varma sujit at the rate of yahoo.com